Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, which is part 30, I'm going to continue putting the bus back together again and I'm going to start by refitting all the um, glass, um, starting with the rear near side uh, window. Right, well that's the uh, first window in, um, it took me just over 24 minutes from start to finish uh, and uh, they're actually quite hard work um, but now I want to get this side cap on to finish this off. Right, these side caps have a rubber um, seal that runs along the top. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually glue it on, keep it in place um, and I'm just going to apply some glue on one side here and on that surface there. Now before I fit it I want to give the inside of it a good coating of wax oil and also I want to paint the 
um, and inside of the rail on the bus as well with wax oil. Well that's all that fitted nicely now, um, all wax oiled, should be good for a good few years. Um, all the screws and bolts and etc that I've been fixing that I've been using have all been stainless steel so hopefully they shouldn't rust either. So the next thing I want to do is I want to put the window in the sliding door. Well, I'm just about to start putting in the last window um, and I think this one's going to be quite tricky because I've got this cupboard here which could hinder um, putting it in but anyway we'll, 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 we'll see as we go along but first of all as with the others I'm going to paint the inside lip with wax oil um, and I just find that it's really good it, it, it helps the rubber seal slide in more easily and also it, it'll protect it um, for future years with if any moisture gets in behind the window etc it won't rust all of this out.
of the windows in so all I've got to do now to finish off um, is to fit this um, offside side cap and as before I'm going to paint all the inside of the side cap and of the vehicle with wax oil. Before I refit the fuel filler cap, um, I want to clean, try and clean the inside of here because it's uh, very dirty, covered in grease and oil. So I'll try and give that a good clean first and then refit the oil cap. I'm going to start by spraying it with a degreaser and let it soak for a while. Before I put the front doors back on, I want to get all the cab interior finished um, and I want to start with the floor. Um, I've got a felt uh, soundproofing pad here to go down first, but then I want to put a rubber mat down. Now, I haven't been able to get hold of a rubber mat for a right hand drive late day. Um, and they are the ones that are out there are really expensive they're well over a hundred pounds so what I've done is I've bought some five millimeter rubber matting um, and there was two square meters here or well I'm not sure how much but there was enough to do two cab floors um, and what so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a paper template with masking tape and brown paper and then I'm going to use that to cut out a new uh, rubber mat.
Right, well I think that rubber mat turned out really well. Um, it's ended up costing about £15 to make it and it's very good quality, it's nice and thick. Um, but before I can put the front doors back on, um, I want to get the rest of the interior finished, which means putting the uh, seat base foam covers on both sides, the bits around here, and also the front seats, uh, safety belts, etc. So I'm going to get all of that done, um, and then I can refit the front doors. left to do in the cab are fit the safety belts, um, glue on the rubber st um, steps on the wheel arches, um, screw down the dash pod, I've replaced the bulb and replaced the curtain rails along the uh, sides here. Um, then put the doors on and Cab area is all complete. Well, I think that's, I'm happy with that, it's not perfect, but for one of these camper vans, that's okay. Um, I think the rubber seal could probably do with renewing at some point, because it's got a bit hard, which is why I'm having problems with this bottom edge, it's poking, it's sticking out by two or three millimetres. Top's fine, or the gaps are all nice all the way around. So I think I'm going to leave it at that.
Right, well, that's the interior of the cab, all totally finished now. Um, I've got a few more jobs to do in the back. I've got to give it a final polish all over. Um, and I want to give it a bit of a service and get it ready for the first hire. Uh, that's all going to be in the next and last final episode. So until then, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you then.